What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the Real Extraction Channel on YouTube. It's your boy, Sean, and we're here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, we got Hell's Kitchen. I don't know, I think Just Born, Gist Born, but we got Mongrel Mob, man. If you don't know who Mongrel Mob is, it's a gang out of New Zealand, right? Quick little background. Organized street gang in New Zealand. They got more than 30 chapters, like 30 sets, 30 different, you know what I'm saying? They are uh, especially active in King Country, Boom Boom, Waikato, Hastings. Uh, the Mongrels mob, the Mongrel mob's main rival is the Black Power Gang. They have been, uh, there have been several public and violent clashes between the gangs over the years. All right, man. So look, somebody sent this to me. I was doing uh, recently. I did a few reactions to uh, like UK gang violence over there, uh, mostly in London, East London, Camden, some other areas. Um, and then y'all was like, bro, somebody hit me on Instagram and was like, bro, like, go check out some of the New Zealand games, bro. You've already been doing the drill music. You've done a bunch of other music. You've done the sports, etc. Like, go ahead and, uh, check out some of the stuff that's going on as far as, like, the street life, the gangs, urban city in, uh, New Zealand. So now we here, we checking this out. We got Mongrel Mob. Uh, we gonna see what they talking about, man. There's also another video, which is, like, the deadliest gangs in New Zealand. It's a little bit longer, but I'll do that one if you guys want me to. And I'll go ahead and do that one uh, coming soon, next, whatever. You know you know what I'm saying? But that's it. We got Mongrel Mob. I'm also willing to react to the Black Power stuff. Just let me know what's going on, what videos you want me to uh, check out. And I'm gonna bring those to you as soon as possible, all right? So that's it. We gonna see what's going on here. This is a real short clip. It's gonna be my little intro into what's going on with this uh, lifestyle. And that's pretty much it. If you like the video, hit that like and subscribe, man. Let's get it. Gisborne, pride of the Poverty Bay. They really need to change that name, eh? Home to a very suspiciously shaped dentist. Bring back pizza, you bastards! And home to Hale's Kitchen, a healthy eating Facebook page with over 100,000 followers aimed at helping Kiwis eat right. But there's one significant catch. It's run by the Mongrel Mob, New Zealand's most notorious gang. Trying to um, fight obesity and um, diabetes. Is this like a biker gang? Because the way they got they, they, they stuff set up, this is like classic like American biker gang, like biking, bike crew, whatever, attire. Just off rip, just just off appearance, bro. Like that's they got the vest with the patches. That's how like, that's how they rock over there. Biker gang mm. status. Why was a gang so worried about health eating, or was there an ulterior motive? There was only one way to get answers. We travelled deep into mob country for a meeting with a well-known Hale's Kitchen contributor, Koei the Rogue. Hello. Hello. Who's there? Guy Williams, how's it going? Damn this motherfucker. Whoa. Yo, what's going on? I see why they beef with Black Power now. I see it. Okay. I see it now. That's okay. Bro, on the face? That's a rogue. Bro is wild. Bro, wow. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. Fuck, you're tall, eh, mate? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, ugly cunt. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about doing this interview. What do you think that is? Um, do you reckon you guys... What you, what you mean? I mean, I'd be nervous. You should be all right. I'd be, you should be cool, bro. I'd be nervous, for sure. Does it need to be any closer, or...? No, I think we're quite good. Okay. With Koei's mate Max constantly lurking behind the camera with a metal bar, this was one of the most tense interviews that I'd ever done. The Hale's Kitchen thing and you trying to be better for communities and stuff like yep. that, that is a little bit incongruous with being a mobster. Fuck, that is the most fucked up statement I've heard in a long time, my bro. Okay, what do you yep. mean by that? The Mongol mob have been doing good deeds in the community way before I was born. But the Mongol mob also do bad things in the community as well. 
I know individuals do bad things in the community. I've been in and out of prison for quite some time, but it's all changed, got children now, and I'm just trying to help our community, help the country, and eventually try and help the world. Okay, and you're gonna do all this while you've got, um, if you don't mind me bringing up the elephant in the room, you've got giant swastika tattoos on you. There's a, uh, I don't know if y'all listen to this, man, y'all might not, but there's a rapper in America named Freddie Gibbs, man, he got this song, it's called Vice Lord Poetry, he a gay man, he a Vice Lord. Vice Lord Poetry. And in, in that song, he got this one line. It says, you can change your name, but your history ain't detachable. All right? Dope-ass line. You can change your name, but your history ain't detachable. Which means, like, and I've said this in multiple videos when it comes to gangs and stuff, too. It don't matter. Like, once you in, bro, you in. And any history you ever had, every history that, that you, you've been, been a part of, you cannot change that. You know what I mean? No matter how you change now. You save now, whatever you want, but you can never change what you've done in the past. And some people ain't never going to forget that. All right? I'm just throwing that. Some people will never forget what you've done in the past, despite how whatever you've changed into now. To them, you still that motherfucker that that, that, that killed old boy cousin. You know what I mean? And now that that's revenge is going to come regardless. Regardless of how you feel. Just throwing that out there. You know what I'm saying? You can change your name, but your history is not detachable. That's just a fact. That's no hating on this guy or any guy. Like, like Freddie Gibbs said it. He a gang member. He know that for himself. So, yeah. On your cheeks. Every mark on my body tells a story. Takes me back to a time of my life. What time do the swastikas take you back to? Is it World War II? <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... How's it going? Well, <laughs> I heard you went to jail because you saw a Black Power member and tried to slash him with a machete. You cut off the guy's thumb. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck you, good old no, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you, no. Oh, you've done some homework. Yep. Like I said, that history ain't detachable, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> Do you know well, I've done seven years for it? I've done my time. Do you regret doing that a little bit? I just regret not wearing a mask. Did your, um, <laughs> I'm going to do a joke now. Yeah, Is that all right? Yeah, all good. Did your highly distinctive facial tattoos give you away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. What, why are you so committed to healthy eating, do you think? Oh, well, that's self-explanatory. You live healthier, you live greater lives. The sad thing about it is it can be expensive to, to eat healthier. Eh? Yeah. It's going to always be 95 cents for a cheeseburger, and it's always going to cost $2.54 a carrot. I just, if this was a normal facts, interview and facts, I wasn't facts. pissing myself right now, <laughs> what I would do is I'd call you out for saying a carrot costs $2.50. Oh, like, okay. where are you buying your carrots from, man? <laughs> what are you doing? You <laughs> no, 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 from North Korea. So how, how did you get into cooking? When did you learn to cook? I just learned how to cook about two, two, three years ago, and so I used to be extremely rich. So I never had to cook restaurants every single night for years. All of a sudden, I um, decided to pick up a meth habit, and I smoked my empire. So um, when Damn. you've got no more money, you need to learn how to cook, bro. So that's why I'm down with Hale's Kitchen. Fry your food, not... Don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> hey, he being real, though. He being honest. And at the end of the day, you know, despite however anybody may feel about these, you know what I'm saying, his mindset is seeming in the right direction yourselves because I was that guy that fried himself once upon a time and lost everything so yeah I'm a changed man now yeah you're not just someone who's wait what do you say bro so that's why I'm down with my empire so um when you've got no more money you need to learn how to cook bro so that's why I'm down with Hale's kitchen fry your food not yourselves because I was that guy that fried himself once upon a time and lost everything so yeah I'm a changed man now yeah fry your food not yourself I look I can't cap I like that I like that. I don't, I, I don't fuck with this. But I like what he just said right there. Fry, fry your food, not yourself, man. As a person that's seen people get caught up, person that's almost been caught up with frying yourself, yeah, man, I respect that. You're not just someone who's trying to spread a message, though. You're also kind of like a bit of a personality. You're kind of an entertainer. Um, entertainer, yeah, yeah. A musician. Yeah, a musician. Sing. Yeah, yeah, I sing, sing, rap. When you're married to the mob, baby, it's a full-time job. Get down on your knees and satisfy the dog. Yeah, you like that? It's, it's, it's quite an uh, explicit <laughs> <Pretty cool>. song. <laughs> it is a great melody, though. It sticks in your head, and yeah. you are a talented singer as well. Oh, thank you, my bro. I wrote that July the 1st, my birthday last year. I was in um, Hawke's Bay Regional Prison in the Pound. I've learned that um, to use my jail time 
um, as a positive thing uh, to use it to reflect and uh, manage my behavior and all that carry on. Do you want the prison experience? I can give that to you today. <laughs> a little taste, just a little taste. I had to respectfully decline the prison experience, but instead, against my better judgment and our insurance policy, I got in the car and we hit the road. I don't agree with all the lyrical content, but I'm a big fan of Married to the Mob, man. Oh, awesome. Maybe it could be like, so cook the family a feed and satisfy your dog. It might be a bit nicer than... <laughs> <laughs> when you're married to the mob, baby, it's a full-time job. Cook your family a feed and satisfy your dog. <laughs> it's nice. That do it's got nice. a nice little rhythm to it, though. Yeah, it's little definitely melody. G-rated. G for gay. No, 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 no,
the beatings and, you know... I don't want to sound cheeky here, but those things don't seem to balance up that he's well. Realistic. I was still conflicted. <laughs> the people of Gisborne were right. There were a lot of positives. Get people to eat healthy. But there were a lot of negatives too. The beatings and, you know... I didn't want to promote the gang lifestyle that Koei had very strongly committed to, but this rogue seemed to genuinely want to help his community. And who knows, maybe I could help him. Good to see you again, Colin. How's it going, mate? Hi. What the fuck are you wearing, bro? Fuck! Well, you don't like the blue. Next time you see me, change it, eh? Change the suit, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, I've been thinking about it a lot. This, this has been one of the most interesting stories that I think I've ever been a part of. Um, even though I obviously don't agree with everything you've done in your past, I think your heart's in the right place and you're doing a lot of good stuff and you've shown me that you can make a real difference in this community, which is wonderful, and I'd love to um, try and help out a little bit. Okay, how so? I'm a little bit nervous of, of what you got to offer. You got, you got no I faith mean, in me? Well, you're full of surprises. <laughs> Using the crew's TV skills and my editing skills, I could help make Hale's Kitchen bigger than Jamie Oliver. This was Koei's Kitchen. Kia ora uh, Welcome to Koei's Kitchen. Today we've got a special guest, Guy Williams. What the fuck is that? It's my suit. Nah, it's either red or nothing, bro. So today, Fido, we're going to cook a steak meal with salad. Uh, we're going to just chuck our steaks on. Did he say it's either red or nothing? His car is blue, though. Right? <laughs> that was his car, right? Am I tripping? He said it's either red or nothing. His car is blue. Yeah, his car is blue, bro. That's his car. He said it's red or nothing. <laughs> One minute it. each side. Oh, he goes. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fuck <it>, no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them to blow away there because I don't. I don't like littering. So there you go, Fano. Nutritious, healthy, delicious, and wonderful. Before we go, I'd like to finish off with a quote that I made up. Love your husbands. Love your wives. Love your children. Koei the Rogue. Cheers, bro. Koei's Kitchen was a huge hit, but before we said goodbye, there was still doubt in the back of my mind. People see this and go, oh, look at Guy. He's, you know, gone and spoken to this, you know, to this what? mobster. Oh, you thought you were going to say magnificent individual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know, like giving you a little bit of spotlight when you don't deserve it kind of thing. Yeah, I've done a lot of things that I that I can't take back, that I regret. Yep. Doesn't make me a bad person, and it shouldn't mean that I don't deserve the spotlight or to be human, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're good people. I just want to say that I feel sorry for anybody who can't see that. Yeah. I'm not sure what to make of my time spent with Koei the Rogue, but I learned a lot. I learned how to make prison noodles. I learned not to judge a book by its cover, even if that cover has two big swastikas painted on it. And I learned a great new family-friendly song. When you're married to the mob, baby, it's a full-time job. Cook your family a feed and satisfy the dog. When you're married to Guy the William. mob... What do y'all think about that, man? Look it. It is what it is, bro. Like I said, I've seen people deal with shit that they was way past but somebody else wasn't i've also seen people go from bad to good good to bad whatever you know what i mean like i just want to know what y'all think of it i think that is dope he got a good mindset strong mindset you got to get that that removal done get that removal popping you feel me um i don't know i don't know i want to see if he goes and talks to the black power group right he got the mongrel mob does he go and talk to the black power group too and if he does send me that video in the comments send me some more videos in the comments if you want me to do the deadliest gangs of nz throw that in the comments let me know um and i'll continue to push out some of these videos but i really want to know your thoughts on this i really i want to know how the people of new zealand feel about this i can talk as an american and say how i feel we got gangs we do shit like that too but it's a little different so i want to know what y'all think throw it in the comments let me know i love y'all i appreciate y'all keep it real real is rare real always reach everyone next time peace